Hey, Jubers, it's Crafty Carter here. I wanted to talk about a, uh, another project I'm working on. This is an 8-channel automotive uh, power distribution unit slash fuse block, if you will. Um, what makes this interesting is that it, A, has no fuses, and instead has uh, digital fusing, which means I have a current sensor on each channel, of which there are eight, and uh, if you exceed the pre-programmed current level for a channel, it shuts down. Now you program that with an iPhone or uh, any other Bluetooth 4 device and uh, that's pretty cool. And I've been sharing this project with a forum called ADB Writer and uh, one of the users suggested something interesting which was a constant current function uh, for these channels. Now it wasn't specifically designed to offer that functionality. so. Uh, I just was going to give it a shot and see how it went. Um, if you wanted to do this, normally you would do this in the analog domain, but uh, we're doing this in the digital domain, which is slower and won't be as effective. But we're going to give it a shot. This will tell us the current being drawn through the load. This is the power supply. This is the load, a flashlight. And it ramps up here, and it gets to 550 milliamps. Now, I told it to go to 500, but apparently it is not well calibrated. But that's okay. We'll work on calibration later. But the idea is that it warms up a little bit. It takes about two seconds to get to your um, selected current level, and then it stays locked there. And... Uh, if you were to um, give the circuit uh, what well, can fake more impedance by um, or less impedance by unplugging it, it shuts down. So when we plug it back in, it's going to instantly be much hotter. So now it's much hotter. And it says whoa, and it's going to come back down. So it's coming back down to about 5:30. Now I give it a little window to work with, so it doesn't oscillate and be annoying. So if you were um, using this for LEDs and you were real specific about the maximum current, you'd probably want to be uh, a bit conservative in numbers you chose. But this sort of shows the limits of doing digital uh, constant current circuits. So I'm not sure I would uh, call this an effective constant current circuit. This is not idiot proof, but for bonding it in after the hardware design was done, I'm actually sort of pleased with how it worked out. So, uh, if you were to take an LED and give it a modest amount of uh, current limiting just to slow down the thing from exploding, like 50 or 100 ohms or, you know, much less than you would do if you weren't doing any limiting or any constant currenting, um, this is actually a pretty effective way to allow you to get maximum brightness and protect your LEDs while uh, still taking advantage of uh, what LEDs offer you. So. I'm kind of excited about it. Alright guys, take care.